Where were you? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Ashley. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta say that again. Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm Acadia. And this is the A Game Podcast Show, where we show you our A Game. We will talk to you about our life as developmentally disabled adults, and we will be inclusive for everyone, including those who are disabled and not disabled as well. It's really hard to talk about things. And it's on the right on the nose. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Who's so, your favorite Pokemon? Right. Introduction. Oh yeah, this is that introduction phase. <laughs> so we'll um my favorite Pokemon. I like all of them. I like all no. Actually in the more series no? Gardevoir. Yeah. The female one? Or the, no, that's uh, Glade that I'm thinking of. No, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I was like, wait a minute, hold on, my whole life's a lie. I, thought, <laughs> I didn't know there was like an actual male Gardevoir. That'd be, that'd be pretty that'd, Yeah, because there's weird. Gardevoir, the female Pokemon, and then there's Glade for the male, or the male uh, equivalent of uh, Walt's, um, and Curlia? Like the Curlia. And then there's Curlia. So there's Waltz, Curlia, Gardevoir, and Gawade. So. Isn't there other Pokemon that are like. Yeah, there's. I think there's a few others as well, like that. Um, oh. Jeez. Um, or different appearances. I mean, like, there's, like, uh, the Sword and Shield, um, uh, the Purple Baby, uh, <laughs> Lightning. <laughs> the Purple Baby. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I find I don't remember the name, uh, but it has purple two baby. evolutions, one that's yellow, one that's blue. Um, but purple, uh, Toxel, uh, oh, Toxel, oh, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. uh, trying to remember its evolution name. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I like, I was like, okay, there are two, I'm like, purple baby Pokemon, but yes, um, Toxel, because Toxel. Toxel's like that, um, Pikachu or Raichu is like that too, because oh, yeah, it has you know. a Lowen form and its original form. Persian, same. Um, and then like, um, <clears throat> uh, there's like, there's a whole bunch of. I I know there's a bunch of Pokemon like that um but can you imagine that pokemon speaking of that there's 1008 pokemon out there now i i okay i found that out recently i'm like already jeez that's like it was i yeah, yeah. I, I always liked pokemon right when i was like in i don't know uh, uh a kid I don't yeah, know, I don't, know, too, I don't yeah. know what age I was, but I sometimes watch the anime, cartoon, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Anime, yeah. I always thought it was a cartoon. Maybe back then it was called a cartoon, but maybe it's anime. I don't know. Um, then once you're... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> now I was going to say, when I found... I was I was always following that Pokemon since they had 100 Pokemon. Now it's like... One thousand over one thousand. Over nine thousand, yo. A little okay. bit over one thousand, but yeah. Twenty years later, it'd be nine thousand. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like over nine thousand. 
Oh, but none. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, what was you going to ask me? Is that one of my favorite what? <laughs> or you were going to ask me a question before? Uh, or was I just hearing voices in my head uh, again? I mean, I only asked you a question, so I guess you could do it. Awesome. Question, question, question. Music, or I'm sorry, uh, would you rather uh, play, would you, so would oh, yeah. you rather have, <laughs> would you rather have infinite money for the rest of your life, or would you rather have infinite life so like you live infinitely? Well, wait, no. Um, <laughs> okay, um, before you ask me that question, I want to ask you, what is your favorite Pokemon? Oh, gosh. Um, well, I have a few. Um, my, my favorite Pokemon have to be Pipwa. Well, all the starters. Yeah, that's true. And their hard evolutions. A hard choice. Um... Oh, you're all prepared. I only have one Pokemon. <laughs> I have a lot. I can't even I, I, Yeah, I have a lot, too. Um, but, yeah, um, fun little fact about, um, I think I remember playing, like, Gen 3 when it first came out on the mm. Game Boy Advance. And you fell and in love so, with the And so, uh, <laughs> uh, my brother, my brother had introduced me to the Pokemon in general, and I just instantly fell in love with it, like collecting yeah, exactly. the cards and That's not not fun. so much the cards anymore as like collector's <clears throat> items per se, but like, um, but like I used uh, I used to be able to like collect the card game, but not play the game, just like collect the cards, and then I have a collection of games from the oh, Game Boy, the, the DS, and the 3DS, and the Switch, and, Ooh. um... I have cards, too, Pokemon cards, but I got rid of them, because I don't touch them anymore. <laughs> I mean, I I keep mine for a like, sentimental oh, value. You oh, know, well. it's fine. I don't know. Would you rather have infinite money for the rest of your life, or would you have, or would you rather have? Oh, infinite life. Infinite life, yeah. Ooh, actually, money because <laughs> I don't want to be like I'm. I'm gonna live forever and see everybody like, not. So die to, yeah to get deep. So that's a actual my serious answer. How about how about you? I'm gonna ask you the same question you're gonna ask me. <laughs> like a double dog there. I double dog there you're answering that question. <laughs> um for me I would choose infinite money as well because then yeah. like you know, you could be like really rich and then be all like able to buy whatever you want. Or donate um, charity. Like for me, I would probably buy like all the all the uh, Pokemon uh, games I wanted, and just have like. Hmm. Or yeah. Or maybe like buy all the games I wanted. You know. Um, probably uh, the same but, thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. But maybe I might. Do go shop for some essential that what I need, or donate some to charity. <laughs> well, I mean, you'd you have in, infinite money, so yeah. whatever you do with it is up to you. Right. I mean, I wonder how much if we do do that. Like, I wonder <laughs> if it'll actually. Why ten thousand for like a charity, or like. More than ten thousand for a charity of our choice, and then be all like, "Okay, well, we're. T I'm just gonna do whatever I want with it yeah. now." But I mean, it's, it's infinite. Yeah, yeah. Destroy the world. Uh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, it's <laughs> wound the world and me president. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So video games. I heard you. I know you like video games too. Like I liked video games since I was like, I don't know, kid, a baby, before I was born. I don't know. <laughs> like so I remember my first game being played on uh, Super Nintendo or was it the other? It's like those classic games before. Um, well, it was one of those. That's not Atari, but it's like after that, like Super Nintendo. Like I just said that earlier. Y'all know what Super Nintendo is? What yeah, it's hope? like a box that connects to the TV, and it's gray and purple, and the controller's like really weird. For those who don't know, um, you can look it up. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, because we won't tell you what it is. <clears throat> Just kidding. But yeah, um, my first... I guess my first gaming console would be the uh, Sega Dreamcast. Oh. Because my dad, he had, he had one, and um, uh, we had a lot of games. And my favorite has to be Skies of Arcadia. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it's... Uh, for the Dreamcast back in its day, it was a two-disc game I never played where it either. had part one and then part two, and then like you got to play as like a pirate named Vice, and it's a, J a Japanese role-playing game or J JRPGs. Um, but I remember playing that a lot when I was a kid, and uh, it's it's really fun. I recommend anyone who likes role playing or Japanese role playing games to check yeah. it out and see, because there's a lot of walkthroughs and gameplay videos on YouTube. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I mean. I was kind of surprised that you said Dreamcast. I'm like, I don't think I've ever seen or heard anyone say like they, their Dreamcast was their first um, console they had or I don't know, or something like that. Because, I mean, I, they probably, because I never asked, but, <laughs> but for me, my first game, I think it was a Super Mario World, the, very, the, the, the good one, I mean. That in, ever since then, I liked Mario, and I think we grew up together. <laughs> okay, um, was that for the Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo. Oh, because it's, okay. it's like a Nintendo mascot. Is that what you call those? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Pokemon <laughs> has Pikachu and Eevee for their mascots, and Mario is Mario's mascot, and oh, yeah, Zelda true. is Zelda, and Kirby is, you know, Kirby. Donkey Kong is Donkey Kong. Me, yeah. me. Okay, that's kind of one of my then. <laughs> yeah. And I, I played video games forever. I mean, since. Same. So yeah. It's, it's like a, it's part of your life. If they get rid of that. Yeah. Uh, they got rid of me too. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm going. I'm going with it. <laughs> yeah. Like. So here's a follow up question to that. Like. Ooh. What, so what world, what video game world would you want to be in if that world was real? Like, so, you mean like what video game fandom I, I would like to be part of? Anything, or, yeah. So what world would I be in? Oh my goodness, that's a question. Ooh, what video game? To make it, yeah, make it simple, make yeah. it a video game question. Oh, this is a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had this down a while back, I think, because <laughs> I was like, I want to be in this movie world, but no, video games is so different because it's more animated. Um, I, was, I mean, not really all, funny. not all video games are animated, though. Oh, that's true, that's true. Yeah. 
they use like like live action. Yeah. Um. So, but that question, I would just it, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be funny if I said The Sims? I mean, we're <laughs> technically in The Sims world. <laughs> it's like living life. But, I don't know. I think, but I think Pokemon because I want a Pokemon. But I'd like to meet some uh, Mario characters too. So, geez, they're like my comfort game. So probably either Mario or Pokemon. And pretty soon in the next episode. You know what? Remember what I said back there? I said I know I, I want to be in this game, but no. But, or Fable. It's just there's just so many. So yeah. Much, there's so many games right now. I just can't think of any. Darn it! Don't you hate that? <laughs> <laughs> you just can't think of it of the good answer. But no, I have so. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you the same question. <laughs> How about you? What video game world, the world, would you like to be in? Yeah, um, I'd have to say Pokemon. I do it. One hundred percent, cause like Pokemon is my escape. You know, it Ooh, helps me uh, get out of my. Depression. It helps me, Ooh. you know, with my anxiety, and the music uh, helps too. Oh, yes. um, but my favorite game has to be from Pokemon, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, where you're actually a Pokemon. Have you played? Oh those? yes, I think that Mystery Dungeon was my first one, the Blue Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Mystery Team? Mis- mis- I think it's Mystery Team. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. There you and go. then Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. That's a long name. Yes. <laughs> That's a long name. I can't even remember. Have you played? Oh, oh I'm yes. sorry. No. I think switch, that Mystery Dungeon switch was my round. first It's actually one. The Blue Red, Mystery Dungeon? Red yeah. for Mystery Game team. Boy mis- and then Blue team. for DS. Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, I I missed some. It's a long name. <laughs> it's a long name. I can't even remember it. It's a, it's something about a mystery. No, switch switch those around. It's actually red red for Game Boy and then blue. Yeah, yeah, that oh. helps you. Yeah, I, okay. I know. I missed some. I do remember yeah. something like that. That happening. Well, I don't know why I said it like that. It's happening. <laughs> when you mentioned like um, it's a new like a it's an escape. Like that is a good point on having. I just got uh, a game that has a but, yeah I has got a good it. escape because yeah. you want to yeah. escape to that world. Yeah, that helps you. Yeah, I'll stick with oh. that, what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> it shows you like to watch. Yeah, I have a few For, <laughs> actually. Um, I'll. I'll say a few. I'll probably say like five, and then you go your yeah. five. Yeah. So I like Jeopardy. Ooh. Uh, I watch that like currently every single weekday, and uh, I actually have a, a, a Alex Tree Beck Funko Pop at home that I ordered um, back mm. in like twenty nine. No, twenty. <laughs> uh, I can't remember, but it was recent. Um, of a few years, but um, like, I like I like Jeopardy, Pokemon, uh, this other TV show called Night Court. Uh, Ooh. they're actually. Uh, coming out with a remake today, Tuesday. Uh, so I am really excited about that. Uh, Big Bang Theory and Ooh. um, I'm getting excited over here. <laughs> all these shows I've and um, like nine one one and its sequel or well. Nine one one and nine one one Lone Star. Oh, <laughs> I like those because yes. they. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I first started watching nine one one when it actually first came out, and I was hooked after that. Oh yes. So with Lone Star, man, so much character development, so hmm. much story, and they have in in the original nine one one they have. Two 
or four, no, wait, yeah, two gay characters, one who is a lesbian and one who is actually, oh. like, gay? Um. Or, hmm, no, wait, I'm thinking about Lone Star. Yeah, there's one character in the original 911 who's, who's a lesbian, and then in Lone Star, I believe there's... There's uh, two characters that are gay as well. Yeah, I, I need to catch up. I don't know what episode. I think I'm on season four. I'm like... I'm not caught up, so... But that yeah. is a good show, 911. I can, as soon as I watch the first one, I'm like, okay, Mom, watch this with me. <laughs> we have a show to watch, and I don't remember if we watched it or not. I think we did. Anyways... So what shows I've been watching? I'll say it really quick, because I have I have this app that tells that I have this app that like stores all my shows I'm watching, so I don't forget. There's a show called Good the Good Place. I'm watching. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. And Russian Doll, which I recommend. Um, I have never. I only seen one episode of this. Good Omens. I've heard of that too, yeah. I'm, I'm planning on watching it soon, hopefully. I watched a show called You. I've heard of that too, yeah. I watched the first episode. It was okay. It's like, it kind of reminds me of Dexter, if you ever seen that show. Yeah, I've seen that too. It had that same vibe. Yeah. Elementary. Elementary? El- yeah. El- I've, el- bleh, say it. <laughs> I've heard of that one too, yeah. Because I like that Sherlock Holmes vibe. I think I always like Sherlock Holmes, but I'm trying to. Sherlock Holmes has been around for a long yeah. time now. There's yeah. a Netflix series called Amelia Holmes. Oh, Enola? Enola? In, yeah. Oh, that's Whatever, okay. my grandma just raves about it. I'm <laughs> like, how can you? Like, you're so, like, into things. Like, she's a open book with movies and TV shows, like, sometimes she'll text me and be all like, Katie, watch this show. And then when I'm over at her house, she'll be all like, okay, Katie, we're going to watch this. I'm like, okay. Last time I was over there, she made me watch, uh, well, (laughs) she had me. (laughs) Made you watch (laughs) it? She had me watch, not made, but had me watch, uh, a movie that came out recently, I think in 2022, called Hocus Pocus 2. Ooh. And uh, I guess it like takes, really, takes place 15 years after the first movie. I don't remember. Yeah, and... Um, Something like that. <laughs> and so, if you haven't seen any of those, you know, we recommend you guys watch those pr- if you want. You may think it's... Okay, for Hocus Pocus, so you may think it's, it's going to suck, but no. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent for a sequel. I mean, I like it. People like it. My Not grandma loves it. Like, yeah. she, she'd rave about it. <laughs> like... I'm not interested in this. And then I watched it and I was like, eh, it's okay. I mean, not not my type of theme, but yeah. And there's a show called Insatiable. It's on Netflix. Oh, I should have said it. I should have said what. So far, most of these that were on Netflix, except for uh, Good Omens and Elementary. So, Insatiable is on Netflix. I mean, it's okay. I mean, I need to get another another go. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh I've, yeah. I've never seen it, but I watched the first episode. It was cute. I mean, I'll keep watching it. Yeah, I heard that one. Yeah. Um, Gilmore Girls. I never. I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised I never seen it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know a few people in my family who love that, especially my uh, sister. You know, when I, uh, I wish I watched uh, some of these shows, like, back when I was in high school. I mean, because I always stick with one show I'm familiar with. 
Yeah. It was for in high school. I don't know what I liked. It wasn't. I mean, right now my favorite show of all time is Supernatural. Oh yeah. <laughs> did you see the one? Did you see the one where uh, they go into the Scooby Doo world and like? I think I did because I've seen all the episodes. But um, and I am not a crier at all. I mean, one hundred percent not a crier. I mean. Like someone could, what? But the uh, the finale. That's all I gotta say. I was a little. I was. There's this thing called post yeah. uh, series depression that I just found out. It's actually a real thing. Post series depression. It's where you get kind of sad after a show ends. Dude, I felt that way when um, when this TV show. It's called God Funded Me. It was back in, like, it, it only ran for, like, one season, but, like, but if you haven't watched it, it's, like, a Christian-oriented uh, thing about, you know, God friending this random person hmm. on Facebook, and the the main character goes on, you know around the uh, town or or around and does, I want to say, like, follows what God is saying. Like, yeah. it's really interesting. But I was so sad and mad that, like, it got canceled. So mad. So <laughs> mad and sad. Like, I was like, Oh yeah. my god, this is such a great show. Like why did they have to do that? But like again, most shows I I don't really like I mean, Veggie Tales is one exception, Ooh, but uh I hear that I, that show of awesome I I don't really watch like Christian oriented stuff. But with God Funded Me I just was glued to my seat watching it every single time it came on. Mm. It was so good. Such good story development and. I need to pick that. I need to pick that up. Cause I keep hearing about it because I know my old, like friends and uh, I mean they're not old, but they're my old friends in high school. Dumb joke, little sound effect there. Um. So, yeah, they, they always watch Veggie Tales. I'm like, I've never seen it. Maybe I should. Veggie Tales is good. Um, yeah. My first Veggie Tales movie that was on Netflix on its streaming service was uh, St. Nicholas, The Joy of Giving. And uh, me and my mom uh, found it, and I, I just, I just, wanted to watch every episode of it like it's so good with faith and you know god you know tell or veggie tales <laughs> telling bible stories and teaching us how and what to do um or how to react in certain you know situations but then they're retelling Bible stories, you know, yeah. like, like the pirates who don't do anything. That's a Veggie Tales movie, and that tells the story of Jonah, who gets swallowed by a whale, and and uh, they sing, they sing, you know, songs, and I like the songs a lot. Actually, <laughs> Mm. Yeah. They're so catchy. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and there's this one um, show called that I'm getting into right now. I think it's one of my favorite ones out of the, the list. It's called New Girl. It's oh on, yeah, it's I've on heard Netflix. of that too. It's yeah. On Netflix. It's so good. I'm like, so it, it, I mean, it just it's it's cute. I mean, I really like it. I know I'm like I never think Friends, but I watched like. TikTok videos of people saying, if you like Friends, watch The New Girl. I've never seen Friends. I think I've seen once or twice episodes, but it's a, it's a cute show. That's I, on Netflix too, right? Friends. Or, no, New Girl. 
I think New Girl used to be on Netflix, right? It is, it's on Netflix right now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's what I meant, yeah. Yeah. And two more shows. Dollface is on Hulu. It's, just, it's a... It's a show, I'm not going to describe it because I'm, I'm really bad at describing things, but it's a show on, on Hulu that I recommend you watch, and if you like, eh, just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and Shit's Creek, I'm yeah. on Hulu, I've never seen it, but I've watched, I mean, until recently, I watched the first episode, and I will give it another watch. Schmidt's Creek, I've heard of that. Is it not on Netflix too? It's on who I think it was on Netflix. I think it's on Hulu it's on Hulu now. So So I so far it's is good. I think I have other people saying it's you should watch it, so I checked it out and I'm it's it's funny so far. I'm just gonna try to get into it more. Because I haven't I have so many other shows lined up. I wish I could watch them all at once but I can't I know, right? <laughs> You'd have to be like a super, like, super, like, genius to be able to watch everything that you want in in all one setting. Thank you for listening. We are. Uh, I was gonna say thank you for listening to this podcast. Yeah, and watching. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks for listening and watching. This has been the A Game. We're, Podcast. Yeah, uh, where we and we just showed you our A game. <laughs> <laughs> A free sound effect there.